we are going to introduce to you a program. Now, you've heard of uh, Google Stars, right? That's the, the software that allows you to kind of, they took Google Earth and put it into the sky, right? So you can look around oh, in the sky. Cool. But there's a program that is actually um, open source that does a very, very similar thing. So when I say open source, it's a free program. It's absolutely free. You can actually download it, m modify it if you wanted to, redistribute it, share it with your friends, things like that. It's called Stellarium. Oh. And this application is uh, is positively free. It's kind of hard to see in a in a feed like this because you know I'm looking at stars, but I'm actually looking up at the sky here uh, from where I am, and we can we can kind of pan around the sky. Uh, cool thing though is that you can actually you know just like you would expect, you can search for you know stuff oh, like wow. Jupiter, right? Just amazing. Like this is the kind of stuff of sci-fi movies when we were kids, right? So I typed in Jupiter. I'm just going to kind of zoom in and look at what happens here. Oh no! I can get way. right in there, and these are actual satellite images, right? So you can look at the, that you know, the amazing. moons and stuff. See how it's moving? That's because it's actually moving at the rate that it would be moving in the sky right now. Oh wow! Isn't that wild? Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to actually pause time here so that we can zoom in on this guy. Wow! Look at even just a little moon, eh? We can get right in there, and these are actual satellite images. Very, very cool. It's called yeah. Solarium, and that software is available for free through Synaptic Package Manager. John Robert in the chat room says that's an awesome program. It's very cool. Oh, you coming back? Nope. Okay. That was and me that... turning on the ringer so that oh, we don't, okay. don't miss you next time. <laughs> and John Robert says it saves me having to go outside. <laughs> I don't think you get the essential UV rays from your computer screen, though, you know, in the well, daytime. You know, you know what, though? If you live in, in the city, and you know, you're not necessarily yeah. going to see the stars at night, even if it's a, a fairly clear night. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, with my naked eyes, I know that I have superpowers, but I can't see Jupiter like that. So True. it's very, very cool. Uh, all awesome. you want to do is just go into Synaptic Package Manager, okay? This is under System, Administration, Synaptic Package Manager. Type in Solarium, I think is how it's spelt. Nope, it's not. Let's double check. Uh, da -da. Oh, Stellarium, pardon me. That makes more sense. There we go. So it's just Stellarium, spelt as you see it on the screen there. Click on that and go Mark for Installation, and then hit Apply. And you'll be able to install that on your Linux system. Now, if you want to get it for uh, your Windows or uh, Mac system, because it's compatible all across the board, you can go to their website. We will post the... Uh, the URL for that in our show notes, but it is just stellarium.org, and that will give you the version for whichever version of uh, whichever operating system you're running. Great. How cool. I Very like that cool. kind of stuff. I like technology that's kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, from the sci-fi 80s movies and stuff. Yeah. But it's real. It's like actual images and things. Mm -hmm. And there's more features to it than that. Like, you can actually show the uh, outlines of the constellations and things like that. You can zoom in on nebulas. Uh, which is very cool. Wow, so. could you make it your desktop? Like if you, I, I only know how to do it through print you, screen. You could take like, screenshots, yeah. yeah. You could take a screenshot. Um, cool. Print screen is a good way to do it on pretty much any operating system. Linux will actually prompt you if you want to save the image. Uh, in Windows, you'd have to bring up like Paint or something or, or GIMP or Photoshop and mm -hmm. paste it in. Oh, okay. But yeah, you could, you could do screenshots if you like. And because it's open source, if it's for personal use, even a screenshot, you're fine to use that. Okay. Um, if you're going to be using it for commercial use, then they request that, or they do have some information on their website about, you know, just making sure that you're complying right. with any licenses with the images and things like that. Mm 